If a snake comes out and bites me. Or what? If I... All right, a brand new video today. We are in. We're in a little bitty town between Arlington, Georgia, and Patmos. That's pretty cool. He's telling you almost exactly where we're at. <laughs> well, it's all private. Yeah, You'll never make it. Yeah. You'll never make it past the guard dog. So is it? Yeah, I'll show you that here in a minute. They're following us out here, keeping us in line. What we're doing right now, huge property. We're just driving around looking for uh, bricks and pottery. There's like 20 some. There was 21 houses on this property. One time. 21 home sites on this property that the owner knows of. And uh, I'm just kind of looking for the old ones that maybe were here before, he, you know, before he knew, well, that he doesn't know about. So we're just kind of driving around looking for old stuff right now and you can join us if you'd like. Big open fields, and uh, this is not even half of it, is it? No, this is just yeah. part of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty amazing place. Also a lot of Indian artifacts too, so we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for that. You know, whatever else we can find. Sure. Brick! No? No. That's the problem, man. They have these rocks out here, they're like red, they look just like bricks, except they're not square. The heart goes pitter-pat, like about every 15, <laughs> yeah. every 15 feet, I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. But it isn't. Now, what's this home? Uh, I don't know. Let's I think we should, we're going to check out this home. This is basically what we're doing. Um, by the way, this is what's your YouTube channel? Like, I always get it wrong. Relic hunting with Rick. Relic hunting with Rick, or it's relic, relic hunting, hunting with Rick. Rick. Okay, yeah. is that it's, what it is? It is. It, all right, so, I looked it up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah. So why don't you just join us? Now, hopefully, we'll find some stuff. And but uh, you know, we're just looking right now. This is what we do. This is how you find new sites that people don't know about. We're out in an old peanut field. Are those is peanuts, I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they're just coming up volunteer from last crop, I guess, huh? Well, we saw this hump right here when we we're driving. What's that? Oh, Coyote. We have a cave. <laughs> cave. There was a Look. critter in there. Yeah, something, something lived down there. Yeah. Uh, we saw this. We saw this hump, so we're just gonna, ex you know, explore it and see if there's any old pottery out here. Um, because this hump is here, probably for a reason. But we don't know why yet. Some shotgun shells. Uh, it's probably armadillo, you think? Those little yeah. holes. See a little wet area. The guard dogs are in the bushes looking for stuff. Just like us. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look around this area in the sand. It's corn in here. So we're gonna, this is the t this year's crop, so we've got to be careful not to step on it. And we're just going to walk around, quick walk, like just a couple minutes. Look for pottery, glass, bricks, that kind of stuff. And if there's an old house here... We'll see that pretty quick. We only need to get the metal detectors out at this point, but we have them ready. I've already, I'm already going to say this isn't a house site, so I haven't seen a single shard of anything. This is kind of interesting over here. These pine trees are all snapped off. You see, that's a hurricane. Did that? Yeah, Hurricane Michael. Yeah. Isn't that weird? How a lot of them are snapped off up high. Yeah. Now I'm glad I wasn't in there when that was happening. <laughs> It was scary. I was right in the yeah, middle of it. Where you? There's our guard dogs, by the yeah. way. They're watching out for us. You right in the middle of it? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> and we, just, we just got a new roof put on a couple weeks ago. So it was uh, yeah. it destroyed our barn and our dog pens. Wow. And luckily we brought the dogs in the house. So. It's uh yeah. It's torn up down here. There's a lot of places, just big trees knocked over. Man, I love the looks of that hill right there, though. We haven't been out there yet, have we? I haven't. We'll we can go out there. We'll go around a little bit, get a little closer. Okay. Yeah, there's a kind of a nice little dome-looking thing here. I can see some chunks of white. It's probably just rocks, but boy, I tell you, I think that's going to be the place, right? Right out in there. So we've got a we've got a big lake right over here, on and so when the water's down, you can see these giant boulders out there out in the middle yeah there's tons of them and there's full of alligators too so you might see alligators? Some all yeah you might wow. see some alligators. any fish out there yeah. uh very very few no so they use this for irrigation that's they a lot do of irrigation, irrigation. Uh, stuff here yeah so when you're wood. talking about you know in a lot of your videos you're always talking about the rocks that the farmers um pile up yeah i know for a fact that the landowner here when he was young him and his uncle and parents grandparents this big rock wall over here they piled all those up out of these oh, fields wow. that's why you're seeing so many of that white shard in there because those plows would come through and, and shear them yeah. off yeah 
So that's a big pile of those rocks. Those are big rocks too. What's this? This is a creek or what? Yes, it is. Oh, dude. And it actually flows into where I was telling you the black sand is at. Black sand. Black sand. Oh man. So he didn't tell me about that well, before actually, we left the house. I, I would have brought my pan, I would have brought my sluice, and I'd had all that stuff with me. <laughs> well they actually found some pottery, Indian pottery out here that had gold uh flake in it. Wow. You know so, where? No, I don't. And we if have metal I did, detectors, I tell man. You. We're, we're fine with metal detectors. <laughs> we don't want to let everybody know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'd have to we couldn't even tell them what state it was in, could we? <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Awesome place. My God. There's our guard dogs. Yeah. Wow, there's another pile of rocks here. Wow, look at that. Well, I think there'd be a lot of uh, Indian art, you know, Indian activity around here with too much there out, was. you think? Yeah. Well, why didn't we bring our pan? All right. Well, I've got a wider spot on the creek too that, that's even cleaner than this. But... That's beautiful. Oh, I could spend the whole day right here. Of course, I didn't look for snakes. <laughs> Yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Nice. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get out there and find some stuff. See any gold down here, Glinton? He's not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just stepped on a big nugget, you know? We wouldn't even <laughs> know it, would we? This thing come on, though. That's some more of that hurricane damage. That's a deer stand, I take it? Yeah. Yeah, see a deer stand right there. You can tell the trees are all just bent over. Now, they call this the guinea corner, and it, at one time back, I don't know how many years ago, 75 years ago, there was, there was guineas out here, that pens out here that had guineas out there. Oh, okay. this, this was a working farm that had hogs and cattle and, I mean, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice big trees there, I wonder if have been something there, huh? Yeah, there's, there, there, know. I know there's raccoons living in them. Oh, that one's hollow, look at that. If you're hungry, you can fry up a bunch of those greens. <laughs> yeah, those mustard greens? Yeah. Talking to the owner, and he said that when they were putting in irrigation lines here, you use the, uh, you can see this is where the irrigation uh, equipment is, there was, they ran into a well, okay? Now they already filled the well, but it was in the field. So we figured we'd come over here and check it out. And in the corner over there, where you might have seen Rick and the Gators park right around the corner, uh, there's definitely a house there, but it's more modern. Um, Let's just say it was there in the aluminum era because there's lots of like melted aluminum in cans and stuff. And I uh, wasn't getting anything old, so I started working my way out in the field. Still seeing bricks and stuff. I haven't dug anything great, but I did just dig a big chunk of iron that looks like old iron. So I'm, I'm kind of getting hopeful. Uh, there's definitely something out here as well, probably another house. I don't think it was a particularly rich house, but who knows? So what we're going to do, and if you look, you can see there's some little bit, bits of pottery, but it's a lot of little pieces of iron. And um, it could be related to, you see Rick over there, it could be related to that site, but I suspect not. But it's probably a separate site. So what we're going to do is kind of look around here a little bit, and uh, I'm not really going to start filming much unless I, I find something to show you. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. Oh, by the way... Mr. Rick there pulled a chig. Um, drove way over, and we're like a long way from a truck. He didn't bring a shovel, so he has to dig with his fingers, or as I've been doing really mostly out here with my feet, because you can actually dig pretty easily. It's really soft. So, um, as long as he doesn't get something really deep. All right, enough chit chatting. Let's get back to work. This thing was deep. That's a hole that came out of right there, all the way in the bottom. So, that's a. Uh, Ah, scared the heck out of me. <laughs> I held it up, and I'm thinking it's like a little voodoo thing. And uh, that little branch there on the right-hand side, you can see started moving. <laughs> that was alive. There you go. <laughs> that really did scare me, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, I, I think I'm going stir-crazy out here in this uh, Georgia sun. We're still digging around it's basically the same area made a couple circles still lots of iron some pottery and shotgun shells lots of shotgun shells no melted aluminum so i think this house was probably abandoned uh much earlier than that one where rick is there was another house over there for sure but if you look here there's another shotgun shell uh, boy i tell you we dug a lot of these uh, it's some really cool head stamps on them though this is just a winchester repeater number 12 which is 12 gauge 
uh, but some really early ones from like the 1870s. I got a couple in my bag. If I dig another one, I'll show it to you. But we're just going to keep working our way across this field. Uh, I'm not terribly old, but you know, it could have been here 100 years before that, too, before that was lost. Uh, we're going to work our way on across. Now, we actually started digging in that corner over there. I don't know if I started, I don't think I did any video over there. But there's a house in that corner with an old well that you can see in the woods. We hunted it pretty hard. It's older than this one. Um, it was abandoned earlier than this one. But there were just no good targets. They're just, you know, square nails and stuff. So um, that's why we moved from there. This has promise, though. It's a big area. I mean, all behind me here, I, I think we're going to find maybe like a row of houses across this field. So if we can get one that was abandoned early enough, that doesn't drive me nuts with the aluminum. We'll do good. Well, if we're not going to do good, I can tell you that right now because the people who lived here didn't have money. <laughs> it was pretty obvious. This isn't like a plantation home. Home area, home site. I mean, it's got to be one here, but it's not in this field. So I'm working on a signal in this hole right here. You know, probably a shotgun shell. I mean, it's not ferrous, but I want to show you this. A few guys that have never seen it. This is a uh, cotton bowl. Um, B-O-L-L. -L. And this is how cotton grows. It's like the seed pod right here. Where the, you know, yeah, well, the seed pod. And the cotton grows on the inside of here. And here's some right here. This is from the last year. And so this is cotton. This is what they would have to harvest back in, like, the slave days. They would harvest these things by hand. And inside, and it's hard to get out, inside these things are these seeds. This seed right here. So not only did you have to come out here in the hot Georgia sun, um, picking the stuff off the vine, but you also had to get all these little seeds out. So you had to feel it, feel it, and pick every single one of these. This is what really slowed down operations, getting these seeds out. So along came, I think it was Eli Whitney, I think that was his name, an inventor, okay? So he invents this machine called a cotton gin. And gin, not like something you drink, but gin as in a machine. Okay, there's a cotton seed right there. So these all had to be picked up by hand. Every single piece of cotton you had to go through here and do that. So slaves would be doing this. Of course, the uh, whites didn't. But the slaves did it. And it took so long, with so much effort, that the farms were fairly, you know, the plantations weren't that big. I mean, because it would take a lot of hands to do this day and night so what happened Eli Whitney comes along he builds this machine called the cotton gin I don't know if it's hand cranked I think it was but what it would do is you feed those cotton uh, bowls in there and uh, it would take the seeds out really quick it was like done mechanically and the seeds would come flying out and the cotton would be all clean and guess what that did that allowed plantation owners to plant more cotton because it didn't take as long to clean it, which is what really took the time. So they could increase their fields, uh, you know, the, the sizes of their fields. And so they needed more people to plant cotton. So they needed more slaves uh, because of that cotton gin invented by Eli Whitney. He doomed a lot of poor people uh, into even more longer slavery because that was what at that point slavery really took off because they needed a lot more people and it was actually kind of dying out because it was so hard to do now this is from my understanding that was kind of the bottleneck and the whole operation of the cotton was getting those little seeds out so when Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin he just opened it up with like a whole new world for the cotton farmers and they could you know buy more slaves and plant more fields and um, yeah, so that's just a little piece of history. I think it's mostly right. If it isn't, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went. And uh, so a few more generations of slaves until the Civil War came around and, well, that freedom. But, uh, yeah, it's a cotton bowl, B-O-L-L, -L, that um, the term bowl weevil comes from. And a bowl weevil is a bug that gets in the cotton and destroys a crop. And that was a very big pest out here, the bowl weevil. So... All right, enough history. Let's dig some besides shotgun shells. Oh, we got a signal here. Let's see what that is. Back down here. I don't know. I think it fell back in the hole, actually. All right. Probably right there, I hope. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, something small. And unfortunately, we're off camera, so something here. I don't think this is a shotgun shell, but it's hard to say what it is. Maybe it's my first 
could find oh it's a shotgun shell <laughs> there's so many of these out here they're frustrating there's some again they have like a star design around it that are 1880s so if i find one of those i'll definitely show it to you but hopefully this will be the last one i'll show you i'm not sure what that is what kind but pretty neat huh the bull weevil so we're still over there in the corner where that first house was which i think is a little you know was abandoned later the other one was between those two sets of wheels that we found a few things in. I did a little, yeah, talked to you about the bull, bull weevil. Uh, not much around here, starting hitting some pottery in this area. And this is the first piece of like colored pottery that I've seen out here. So I'm hoping that maybe this area might hold a house that had a little bit more money. They could maybe afford uh, better china. A little bit of iron, nothing good yet, just shotgun shells. You can see how far <laughs> how far I've been sinking as I'm walking. But it's sandy, it's not clay, so yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, oh man, a piece of pottery with color on it. Everything's been pretty much just plain white so far, so we're hopeful. This thing here gave a super high squeak, so I was really hopeful, though I figured it was probably just a can. But it isn't. That's probably what was squeaking right there, the copper. Or brass fitting uh i guess this is part of that irrigation system that big arm that rolls around the field <laughs> sounded good man it sounded real good <laughs> i guess it's hard to put it down there where you can see it <laughs> sorry about that so i'm actually now in like the fourth area that i found where there was some type of home it just scattered between here and where Rick's standing back there. And I know there's a couple more in front of us that direction because we were over there this morning, but we didn't find much. But here I'm starting to see some older stuff. I got some nice um, colored, uh, some pottery with some good color on it. And that's an old bottle right there. That could date to the Civil War. And as I kicked at it to see what it was, I found our first artifact. <laughs> a very first keeper of the day so a little button um it looks like plastic but it probably isn't it's probably bone um i would imagine i could be wrong but one way to tell i don't think i can do it here but if it uh, if you take a bone button and you like rub it on something like cloth and you can get it hot and then sniff it a bone button will stink because it's organic and it'll have a really unpleasant odor whereas a plastic button you won't really notice anything but you just kind of like that 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 get it warm i don't know if i can do it here because it's really windy and then just smell it i have absolutely no odor whatsoever on that so another thing you can do actually that's a porcelain button i can see now another thing you can do is like heat up uh, a needle or something get really hot like on a stove and poke it and if it's a plastic button of course it'll melt the plastic if it's bone um it won't melt but again that might smell bad too but this is actually porcelain i can see it now all right i don't think he's reading so i'm back at the uh little gator thing <laughs> i got my first relic <laughs> right next to it <laughs> i don't think it's very old i think it's like a snap of uh some jeans or something you know a bib overalls or something but yeah it's the first interesting looking thing i guess he was reading at least watching videos hopefully he was watching the chig we move locations new field there's a, a cemetery right over there in the middle of the field and i kind of walked around and didn't get many signals you see the cemetery it's got a fence around it most of his graves are like 1870s yeah. 80s uh there's one confederate veteran in there but anyway i got a really deep signal out here in the middle of the field and I just hit it, whatever it is. I'm not sure if it's a giant meteorite, Confederate gold, or maybe a coffin. But it's in the middle of the field, so we should be good, right? Yeah, I had to go back and get my shovel. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't I, help dig. I told him about the shovel. <laughs> You're rubbing yeah. off on me, Bo. Yeah. I, I don't think this is a very electric line. Right? I hope not. There's only one little spot that it was in, so let's dig it together. So you can see it's right down there. It's iron, whatever it is, so box of confederate gold coins could be what is it yes dude let's blow the plow line for sure. <laughs> yeah hmm. it's a cannon the soto springs yeah, didn't you tell them where it was no <laughs> they wouldn't be everybody's gonna be looking up the soto anyway. springs now 
Uh, so tell me about DeSoto Springs. Well, it was said, it's a known fact that DeSoto came through Blakely, Georgia, coming up through the Gulf. And the, spring, the old man that owns the property said he grew up, and they always called it DeSoto Springs. Oh, we should be taking over there, man. Well, yeah, it's pretty thick right now. That's a wintertime exploration. What do you think it is? Uh, it's a manhole maybe it's, to China. Uh, it's thin, whatever it is. Yeah. Wow. I think it might be like a 55-gallon barrel full of gold coins. It may be. That's deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever it is, like a barrel or something, but it's I can feel it right there. So we're gonna go down in there together and look here in a minute. All right, so we got it uncovered a little bit more, and it's very, very interesting. I think it actually could be some type of vessel. Um, that we're what we're what we're seeing is the top of it, so it might be full of coins. Now, the problem we're having is that. One, not only were you not too far from a graveyard, but we're in the middle of a cornfield with little baby corns. <laughs> or as you say in England, what do they say in Europe? They're not, it's not corn, it's uh, maize. They actually say maize in England, in yeah. Europe. Corn is grain. Anyway, so let's take a look at it. I think you'll be impressed. Look at that. It really has me interested because the different color right there you can, tell, you can tell some type of container sounds hollow you can't tell if it's like a jingling of gold coins or silver coins on the inside but you know i really don't think we're going to uh, dig this up without talking to the owner of the property because i don't want to kill all this little baby corn right here so mm -hmm. that's come back another day what do you think I think we ought to come back. I think that may be the lost treasure of DeSoto right there. The, all right, we're going to have to cover this thing back up, and we might come back another day. And we should dig it up at night, because that would probably bring us the best luck. If it's glowing, if the dirt's glowing, we know to run. We think it might be a radioactive <laughs> drum, too. We never, you never know. It might be like one of those bombs that they uh, accidentally <laughs> dropped off the planes in the 50s. Yeah. Could <laughs> they be. did drop one off the coast down here, yep. so could be another one. <sighs> they build this little bridge for us. Get in there, man. <laughs> this is kind of neat, this little concrete bridge. What it is, is a wheelway. A what? It's a uh, some type of bridge. It's a bridge for um, the irrigation thing. That big thing over there swings around in kind of like a circle. And you'll see them from airplanes. Or Google Earth, you'll see the big circles in the crop fields. That's what that is. And when it gets over to here, it follows this little trail I'm on. Poo right there. It's probably a raccoon. There's actually a dead raccoon behind me. But it follows that little trail and it goes right over there every single time. It slowly works its way across. Looky there. Big old coyote track. Big old rick track. And goes out through the field that way. When you look at this in the uh, from the air when it's dry, you'll see a big circle of good crops and everything else is dead. <laughs> Because it doesn't have enough water. That's so where we crossed the bridge a second ago. And I um, wanted to kind of work this little area right here. The sandy area. There's supposed to be a big spring down in there somewhere. Now you did see the stream. But it's supposed to be a spring too. I just found this rock. That looks surprisingly like an Indian artifact. It may not be. But I suspect it is. And I'll tell you why. Alright. So here's what we're looking at. It's a kind of a flattish rock. But you notice that it has chunks taken out. All the way around. Like one, two three, four, you know, all the way around this little chunks. You flip it over, and it's the same way, or not. A little bit on this side, see one there, and um, you put it in your hand. It feels really good for like a little tool of some sort. Like they could have used this right here as a hide scraper to scrape fat and stuff off hides. They could use it to, you know, scrape bark off of trees, all kinds of stuff. So I'm, I'm going with this as actually a tool, a handmade tool or a tool made by hand for hand or the hand uh, by Indians yeah that's what it is see Rick off in the distance that's where we crossed the bridge I picked up that little like uh, scraper thingy over there and down here in the very corner of the property there's a slight raised area that's sandy much more sandy and kind of lighter color than a lot of the other fields he's dark there it just looks a little different and I'm seeing a lot of flakes down here uh, from tool making Hopefully we'll see some together. That's why I put my machine down. Of course. I don't see anything now 
here like here's a uh, it's a nice red flake there so they were sitting in the sand down here on or this little hill because the stream's right in there uh, there's a swamp you can kind of hear the bullfrogs calling me uh, so they probably sat right here it's a little bit drier than the rest of the area and they were chipping away making tools it's another nice flake there so I bet you we'll find a nice arrowhead or a knife blade or a spear point down here if we keep our eyes open. Probably ought to get the metal detector and start running it too, though, huh? Because it could be a, uh, it could be a colonial site down here too. Who knows? There's another flake. Just kind of scattered stuff, though. You know, I don't think it's going to be a, a real hot spot, but I'd be surprised if we don't find at least one decent one down here. I thought we'd be picking up arrowheads and spear points by the bucketful here, but. I guess we're not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna work my way back over to the metal detector. We're gonna grab it and start looking. If I see anything good, I'll show it to you before I pick it up. There's definitely gonna be something in here, I think. With all these flakes in here. I mean, somebody's working it. And with this fresh plow, there's gotta be at least one in here somebody missed over the years. Whew, so humid. That's armadillo tracks going across there. All right, I'm gonna grab the machine, do a little hunting. So you got some treasure, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> this is the find of the day. Oh. <laughs> Poor little deer lost his antler. He did. Is that this year's? You think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. There's ants. <laughs> There's ants. Whole fire. Ah. Jeez. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't, didn't. you? I That's didn't. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Here's all yours. Uh. I shook the ants off for you. Yeah. It's kind of weird because. And this little area we're standing is loaded with square nails, but I cannot find a single good target. Nope. You? I have shotgun, shotgun shells all up Lots of shotgun shells, not a, not a single button or anything. Uh -huh. There's a lot of nails in here. <sighs> you tired? No, it's still early. Let's move on to the next place. <laughs> yeah, he's learning, man. He's learning. All right, we're not giving up yet. We're still working some fields, and um, this is a nice high field, kind of overlooks some water. Look what's in front of us. Look at those big trees over there. There's gotta be something in there, don't you think? I think so. Nothing better gold? Could be. That could be the plantation house we've been looking for the whole time. Or not. That's a good feel though, look at that. <laughs> I think he's driving slow for anticipation. <laughs> what might be in those big trees. I'm looking for pottery. Uh, yeah. I mean, that looks awesome though. Look at that thing, man. Look at it. What do you think? So I just kind of wandered over to the big trees. I guess I should have showed you what I was looking at, but um, I don't like see a foundation, but I, there was that. I'm almost positive there's a house in here because in the field on the way over, there's lots of pottery and broken glass. Um, I'm not seeing really old pottery though. So. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna hunt it, but I can't promise you we're gonna find really old stuff. But let's take a look. Go back at the <laughs> go back and get the metal detector. Looking around out there, but um, you can see some in here. The other side of the road when I walked down it was loaded with it, absolutely loaded with it. So the house may have actually like stood right up in there because over in there is a bunch. Uh, but we're gonna get that metal detector and see how old it is. And this stuff is not old at all. I'm a little bit afraid of this stuff. I mean, that could be turn of the century, but Yeah, man, look at it all in here Pieces of brick. That's a piece of brick No glass very first target ball of aluminum. <laughs> How it gets better than that Man, it's a giant tree. We're gonna go down and look at that one. That's where we just walked around where I think I, the house might have been But look how big that tree is. Woo wee Big old live oak so I made it down to the tree. It's not quite as massive as I thought it was, but I love how the ferns or whatever that is is growing up on it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Uh, Rick's up on the hill there. He said he just dug a, uh, a barrel to a shotgun or something. So we'll go out there and uh, go up there and check it out in a minute, but I wanna go down here and look at this. Let's look at this root ball and see if there's any uh, artifacts in it. Mm, nope, those are just water bugs. Don't see any bottles or anything. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna walk around just a little bit more, but I'm gonna turn the camera off because the video is probably about two hours long by now. 
and uh, I'll get back to you if a snake comes out and bites me. Or what? If I, <laughs> or if I hurt myself. Oh my God. Um, I didn't break my leg, but boy, I tell you, I jammed my uh, wrist. Woo -wee. I'll show you what I did. Sorry for cussing. I'll probably cut that out though. Ah, I was walking across the top of this, not paying any attention, and uh, this moss is like extremely slippery right here. I just slipped right off of it and jammed my wrist. Didn't break anything, but this goes to show you, you can get hurt pretty easy when you're least expecting it. That was pretty close right there. Man, I could have really done some damage. Uh, yeah, so I just... That's a big tree we just came from down there. And uh, Rick said he had something pretty cool. So let's take... down right here. Oh, let's take a look at it. If you don't mind. Don't mind I know we don't have a lot more time left today. Let it down right there. This is the darndest thing I've ever seen. It looks like a piece of pipe. Yeah. What's that in the end of that? <laughs> that shotgun shell, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that weird? You ever, did you do that? I did not. I did not. It definitely is. But it's, it would be it looks at the like wrong it's tapered, end. isn't it? I know. It, it is it, tapered. It would be at the wrong end. I think it's too uh, big around for a uh, shotgun, don't you? I don't know how it got in there. Maybe some kid was playing around with it. I don't know. Wow. And just some iron. I just didn't want to carry it with me. I put it in the. Yeah, I, I you know, that does. Is it tapered or not? It looks tapered. It looks it's a bigger little, on that. Yeah, end. it's a little bit tapered, so it's probably not just a piece of pipe. But it's it's weird. That is weird. They would have had to shove it in that end, and then I imagine all the rust that's built up inside there yeah. over the years has probably made it. Look it's fire too, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Like one of them zip guns, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I, that's, that's what <laughs> I thought. That's pretty cool, though. That's neat. But they would have had to shove the thing down through this end if, if maybe all the rust. But that's just too thick for a gun barrel. Even a receiver. I don't know, would be that man. Thick. I just don't know. I'm not. I don't know. It's very large for uh, a gun barrel. Yeah. It just seems large, but I say if it's tapered, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else it would be. Mm -hmm. Make a good story for somebody. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it out of there later. I'm gonna take that's it back cool. with me. Yeah, I'm no. gonna see. Dude, why would you do that? Why don't you drive it out? It's done. I want to know what's on the other side. Well, I'll clean it out. I'll clean to. that out, and you can look it. down there with a flashlight. Give it to old Bo. He'll have his wife <laughs> x-ray it for you, and we'll see what's in there. Fire full well, of gold coins, man. It could be, but um, I think we uh, can electrolysis it. And, uh, yeah, definitely. It'd be fun anyway. Yeah, you know, that's that's pretty neat. I think that's got to be a, that's gotta be some type of shotgun. It's got to be. You know, it could have been a 68 be. caliber musket from... Uh, DeSoto, and some kid was playing with it and just shoved the shell down in there and said, "Well, DeSoto." And they broke it. Yeah, they had they had big stuff back then. That is pretty big. That's pretty big. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Really, I like it. That's cool, it but is, don't don't knock it out no, of there, man. I wouldn't do that. No one listens to old bull. Yeah, we do. <laughs> no, they don't. I'll come down here and just hey, let me see that piece. Oh, I that tore it apart. You know you're going to, aren't you? No, he's not going to. <laughs> Let's get back to digging. It's always nice to see when you look across the field and the partner's actually digging a hole and not just like wandering around looking for a signal. Very target rich environment right here. A lot of aluminum, but I dug a piece of brass. I think it might actually be a lock, but I'm not 100% yet because I haven't really looked at it. We're going to do that together. Right now. What do you think? Is it a lock? Yeah, it's a big old lock, man. Check it out. Almost didn't dig it because I figured it was a beer can because it's a lot of aluminum. So we'll have to dig uh, those beer can signals. Next one's going to be a CS belt buckle, a Georgia belt buckle from the Civil War. Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> hey, that is an axe head. That has been broken somehow. A massive amount of energy went into breaking that thing right there. Might have been pounding, you know, using the other end of the other side as a hammer or something, but that's a that's a nice one. It's kind of a weird shape though, isn't it? Alright, we'll save that one. See if we can figure out what it is exactly, what it was used for, besides chopping wood. We have a little roundness here. I was hoping it was gonna be a coin, or then I was hoping it was gonna be a button, but now I'm not sure. What is it? Oh, 
think it is a button. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, there may be a button, but it's not as old as I hope. Look like it might have had an iron back. And typically, they're not quite as old. Yeah, looky. Got a design on it. What is that? Oh, it's a uh, railroad button, I think. Yeah. It's a little railroad engine. Or a scene in Venice with a gondola. I'm not sure which. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's a railroad button. It's been a long day. Uh, we're supposed to get some wicked bad thunderstorms this afternoon, but I, I think they're going to go by, so. <sighs> Let's find some silver. I promise I won't show you every little scrap that I find, but there's frogs over there. Uh, this is a a piece of a harmonica. That's part of the reed right there. Um, yeah, so I won't do that anymore. I won't just look around now. What's that? That's a shell? That's probably a fungus. No, it is a shell. That's cool. That's a fossil. It's a piece of rock right there with a little fossil shell on it. Hmm, may save that for a little while at least. Some pottery there, some peanuts there. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get the machine back on. Hey. <laughs> I think I might have Rick a little worried over there. <laughs> Got an 88 on the meter. And it's pretty small, so it could be something good. I thought we'd dig it together. I already kicked the dirt back, though. Nice and smooth. It's pretty shallow, I think. Let's see if we can kick it out. There we go. Ready? Listen. Uh-oh. Okay. No. It's almost going to be a coin, but... Oh, that's sad. Very, very sad. <sighs> kick this little doodad out of the dirt. You know what it is? Do ya? <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, but I'm tired. Um, I do believe this is a sharpening stone. Or a whetstone. I mean, it's not metal. It's made for sharpening knives. Pretty fine, though. Uh, it's broken, by the way. It would have been longer than that, of course. Could be wrong on that. Could be right. You never know. Do ya? Good find here, I think. Looks good from here. I haven't looked at it yet. You don't look at it with me. What do you think? Right here. I'm hoping it's a nice button. Military button, is it? Could be. No, I don't think it's military, but it is a button. Oh, yeah, it is a button. Probably, yeah, it looks like World War One or Two from here. <laughs> yep, World War One or Two. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's what's called the Great Seal. I think that was adopted in the uh, right around World War One, and uh, they continued these buttons right through World War Two. It's an army button, by the way. And if we look at the back mark, we could probably date it to you know pretty tight period. Hey, <laughs> got a Great Seal button. <laughs> we don't have much time, so we'll just let them keep digging. So here's a little surface find. Looks like maybe some type of little button, but not too old. Yep, iron back. Probably a button. It's hard to say for sure, though. Hey, all right. Out right there. I'm going to stick it back in a hole. I'm going to stick it in my bag. Uh, <laughs> That's a go. nice one. Rick just found that. That's a beauty. Yeah. You did good. I've been searching all day. You haven't done that. <laughs> Of course you have too, right? Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I nice rarely one. ever find those things. Yeah, sweet. I guess you want to take it back, or you want me to keep oh, it? Well, I mean, you know, it's a souvenir. <laughs> from... back. I'm so tired. Yeah, I was like, just take it, Georgia. please. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Congratulations. Thank you. No, it's the uh, top to a lock, brass. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's the top to the one I have or not, but yeah. it's a righteous little squeaker. <laughs> Eh, pretty close. <laughs> That's payback, by the way. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Payback. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> good, good signal. Maybe. No, I got a big piece of brass out of the hole. Oh, nice. But it's you know it's not like a belt buckle, but it's something. Let's see what it is. It. All right. Let's just take it over here to the expert. I have no idea what that thing is. May I? Of course. Yeah. Curtain rod in the shower or something. Well, it's really heavy though, so it's something interesting. Yeah, no, but it really is. It's uh, 
toothbrush over not exactly a uh it looks like it would hook in there like you know hook in and then there was a screw behind it there yeah. and a screw there to hold the towel holder on <laughs> we are on a house site <laughs> yes yeah, true you never know it's pretty heavy though yeah, that's, that's heavy duty so that was fancy folk yeah. living here fancy pants <laughs> hey you got the fancy pants on the, look i have I have worn out a pair of pants hunting with Bo. I can honestly say that. And my Look wife, will, my wife will be happy because she hates these pants. <laughs> She's been trying to throw them away for six months. Now you're not going to fight her, are you? No. <laughs> no, I'm going to let her throw them away. All right. We had it too much longer, but I just want you to hear what we're hearing here. It's kind of horrifying. You ready? A lot of iron. Yeah, that's not an iron right there. We'll come back and dig that. That's not an iron right there. We'll come back and dig that. Sure we will. It's probably not iron. It might be though. My kind of place, man. Awesome. Ooh, look, no one's been over here. Let's check this out. Uh-oh. Right here. Or something squeak. all iron there might be one or two uh, squeaks in there might be something but we're gonna cherry pick today all right let's see if we can find these other targets that are marked uh, let's see hmm I lost that. there's one a lot of these we can just kind of kick out with a boot the ground's really soft there we go the wiggle it's gonna wiggle a loop so there's something small right here in amongst that iron here we go here we go that might be it right there nope hard to do with one hand but i can feel it <gasps> so no it's not aluminum yeah i guess it is aluminum but it's not a piece of foil like i thought it was going to be a beer can but it's not great let's go dig the other one i'll fill that in in just a minute i think was it by the rock No, nope, that wasn't it. Oh, something there. That might be the one we marked. This is kind of what I've been doing all day, so I'm pretty much exhausted. <laughs> something really small. Right here. Whoops. I might not have dug that up yet. Hmm. Get the pinpointer out, but the problem is there's so much iron in here. A lot half the time you're just hearing the iron. A little something there. Man, it's tiny, isn't it? Now, if I was using both hands to find it, I would have it by now. But there it is, right there. See it? Do ya? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's a little piece of brass or copper. Ah, it's a shotgun shell. A little tiny piece of shotgun shell. You can see that's the primer right there and most of it's rotted away all right now you know the joy probably got about another eh, probably maybe an hour if we make it <laughs> oh, I'm so thirsty so I'm probably like gonna jinx myself on this one but this is like the best signal of the day um, let's dig it together there I started to clear the dirt away but I didn't actually clear it away but oh I want you to hear this one hold on a second here we go oh yeah 90, 91, 92, giant chunk of silver, or not, you be the judge, and we will both know in time, I don't remember where it was, right here maybe, <laughs> all right, all right. <gasps> no, it's not silver, I can see it, it's over there, 
big chunk of something though. What is it? Oh, <laughs> like a gas cap or something, I guess. Kind of weird though, it's got um, something on top. It looks like it's broken almost, but it's like, a, it's like a gas cap or something. I don't know, it's really, really heavy though. Man, that's a good sound. Wow. I don't know what it is though, why it's in two layers like that. It's very strange. So I just dug this weird thing. It looks like a very heavy duty brass comb. And uh, um, I just saw one of these in someone's collection a couple days ago. Yeah. Same thing. I don't know what they are though. Sure is. It's a curry comb. Yeah, it's no curry comb, man. It's either that or a lice comb. It's not for human hair. It's what they'd use on the horse's mane or the chick's beard when it grows out. I think you're crazy, man. You think so? I do. I don't think so. I think I think you're crazy. I think that's going to be for something weird like uh, cotton, something to do with no. cotton or wool or something. No, sir. Never seen a curry comb like that. Tell me the truth now. Yeah. No, I mean, you it, haven't. Look, look have you really seen? Have you <laughs> seen a curry comb? Have you ever seen anybody use that thing on a horse? Something like that. Yes. I'll show you when we get back to the house. You know, I do have horses. I have a barn. I have lots of curry combs. I'll eat my shorts if that's a curry comb. <laughs> you heard it. I mean, it could be, but I just, I just don't believe it, man. It's either that's the... exactly what uh, who, who uh, John Connor, my buddy there on a Patreon, uh, he has one in his collection, and I think his girlfriend said it was a curry comb. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not a curry comb. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I'm Did gonna, you... I'm gonna remember that now. I'm gonna be asking yeah. you when we get back to the All thing. Right. Uh, all right. I've never seen one That's like that. my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, you might be right. <laughs> He's probably right. This one sounds a little bit special, so I wanted to get you guys in on this one. Very small, kind of like dime-ish maybe. What do you think? Oh, no, it's not dime. It's this thing right here a bit. Yep. Brass. Plated brass of some sort. I don't know what that is. Looks like a key of some sort there. A uh, key, you know, like a, uh, mm -hmm. ah, what do they call those things? Pennsylvania key. What are those things called? I can't remember anything right now. Uh, keystone. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Sounded really good. I am going stir crazy. Let me tell you, I'm watching that sun go down. See it? I'm like counting. Closer and closer to home. Closer to some food. We haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh boy, starving me. This is kind of an interesting doodad. Um, when I first found it, I thought it was like a horse rosette. But now that I'm looking at it, I suspect it's just like some lead that was melted into the bottom of a can, perhaps. Like this would have been the bottom of the can. And uh, this was you know, melted into it and the can just rotted away. Could be totally wrong on that, but it does look like it's kind of like a melted slag, leady stuff. So, probably not a rosette. Yeah, it's all canoe and it's like full of water. Wow. I wonder why you don't like flip it upside down. Oh, my worry. We're getting ready to do the wrap up here, so hold on a second. Kind of finishing up the day here. We're looking at this beautiful pond over there covered with pollen. And we're standing in the shade for once today right? we're both so tired man <laughs> so tired all right this is what we did how do we do we did all right huh we did all, I mean, yeah i had fun dude i had so much fun today cold call it's pretty good yeah I mean, pretty much yeah yeah so i mean you've seen all my stuff junk and so a couple things you what do you have in here we probably haven't seen some of these bottles you probably didn't see yeah. those and well, we saw the arrowhead uh, so. no i you hadn't seen this this is i think this is the best find right here I thought it was pretty Listen to cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a wheat penny. It's dated 1913 or no, something. Yeah, no, it was 1908 or Yeah, or something, something like that. But that's Lincoln right there. And someone put a hole in his head. And <laughs> I would have to think that was intentional because it's right there in the back of his head. You guys that, you know, don't know, Lincoln was a president during the uh, <laughs> American Civil War. And like two days after the war pretty much ended, he got shot in the head and assassinated, mm. which was... The worst thing that could ever have happened for the South, that's right. but that's what happened. Um, we have a beautiful arrowhead in here. We have what might be a curry comb. It looks like plastic, but it isn't. I think it's a curry comb. It is yeah, and uh, a lot of junk. This is off this. 
They all Dude. know. They know it's supper time. I hope they're not coming to get us, man. Yeah. What kind of frogs are those? You know, or not uh, green, know. probably a mixture of green tree frogs and just regular old bullfrogs. Wow. All right, that's it for me, man. I'm gonna go over here and look at the frogs. Okay. <laughs> Let's go look. I love that. I just absolutely love that sound. I'm going to leave you on that, man. That's music right there. We'll see you on the next one. I had a great time with him, by the way. I had a lot of digging. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'll She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the